Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Elise of Plan with Elise and today I'm doing something kind of different in terms of budget. So I ordered this, let me take the plastic off. I ordered this cash envelope binder on Amazon. It was super affordable, I think like $12. Um, I'll make sure that it's linked in the description. And before we get started, I just wanted to show you what it comes with. So it comes with these labels. There are 10 and 20. So there's 20 labels, colored labels. And this comes in several different colors. And I got the magnetic closure one, but there's also a snap closure. I chose to not get the snap closure because I know sometimes um, if it's too full or something, it can be difficult to snap. So I decided to go with the magnetic closure one. And this is the inside. So you've got these envelopes. Wow, there's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve envelopes. And it's got this um binder or something. I'm sure there's a name for it. Binding. I don't quite know because I'm not a ring planner person. And there are one, two, three, four slots. There's two pockets here and a pen loop. So I'm this. Yeah. Okay. Now these are going, these envelopes punch in or they, they go in, but all of these little things need to be punched out. So Let's just, I'm gonna get those punched and then um, and then we'll continue in showing you how I'm using this and how I'm going to set it up. All right, so the envelopes are in. I'm not sure that I need all of these envelopes to start, so I actually wanna take them back out. And I wanna show you sort of my plan and the reason that I bought these, this, this binder and kind of how I'm planning on getting this to work for me in terms of my system. So I have some savings things happening right now and they're in Happy Planner um, envelopes. And while I think these are great and I wanna repurpose them for my budget planner, right now, first of all, they're getting a little stuffed and also like I'm using just a little sheet of paper to note which of these is which and it's not working. And I can recognize when something isn't working for my system. So when I saw these envelopes, I was like, okay, great. Let's make something to use as a, um, like a balance sheet. I know there's a real word for it. I can't remember what that word is. So I created this printable. Um, it's in my Etsy shop. And so each of these, you can see here, I already tested one, fits perfectly in one of these envelopes. So I'm going to set the first one up and also maybe recalculate this to make sure that I have the money in there that I thought. So I have a um, something that I call an extra $5 challenge. So every time you spend money, you put $5 aside. I haven't done it in a couple of months. And I think for 2022, I'm gonna switch to a $1 because $5 extra every time I spend money was great. I think through April, um, I did it maybe, yeah, April. And I saved some money, but it, it adds up. So um, plus when I'm trying to do a bunch of other savings challenges, it wasn't really working. So I'm just gonna call this extra five. I wanna switch the pen that I'm using though. I want this, I have the 0.38. I just want one that's a little bit bolder. So I'm going to take my Sharpie S gel 0.7 and write extra. five. Okay. And then I have this envelope, but again, I just want to be sure that the money that I think is in here is the same amount that actually is. And of course I was not sorting this by, um, like I wasn't keeping these where they're supposed to be. So we're just gonna play it with some cash for a minute. I've never really done one of these, like envelope stuffing videos, but I enjoy watching them. And so there are a lot of fives in here. I need to exchange, I think, for some some bigger bills so I have less bills because I don't know how this is all going to fit. So let me grab my calculator here. So we've got 50 plus 40 
plus a lot of fives. So 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 90 plus 130 plus five, 225. Okay. So I'm going to put these together. We are going to stick them in an envelope. I hope these fit. They do. Okay. Well, that's a great fit. All right. So today I'm looking at my watch that I'm not wearing. So today is October 10th. Um, normally I would have kind of tracked this as I went through, but for now I'm just going to do it because this is, I know that as of October 10th, 2021, what is that? 225. That's what exists. So we're kind of starting from scratch here. And then if I add to it, I'll do a plus. If I subtract from it, I'll do a minus and then write down the new balance. There are 26 lines on this sheet because I typically will put money into these envelopes either every payday or once a month. And I get paid four times a month. So I figured, I, well, maybe four times a month. It depends on how many. I get paid every week. So this would be enough for half of a year, but if you get paid every other week, it would be enough for about a year. And if I put something in once a month instead, it, it'll it last a while. So that's kind of why I designed it that way. So now I have, look at, oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. This is the first time I've had something like this. So I'm going to stick it right there. Okay. That envelope is going to be put to the side. And like I said, these are going to be repurposed for my... um my budget planner for 2022. Okay. This next one is probably my favorite savings tracker. We're going to get these organized. And this is my 52 week savings tracker. So all these trackers that I'm talking about are available. Oops, look at that. Um, on Etsy, I mean, the purpose of this video isn't really to promote my Etsy shop. I just want to share what I'm doing and what I'm trying because I've been trying a lot of new things with my planner lately. And so that's that's the purpose of my YouTube channel is showing you what I'm doing and seeing if it can apply <clears throat> excuse me for your life so anyway this is my favorite challenge because I have it broken down into 52 weeks every week you put a different amount of money aside between I think five and twenty dollars and I think that's really doable and it has been for me maybe some of the weeks are 25 I'm not quite sure but it's still not a ton of money so it, it, I think it's doable for my budget. Okay, so we have 100 plus plus 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. So, whoops, I don't know why I didn't mind. That, that said 300. So I know I have 315. Okay. But again, I'm going to need to exchange some of these bills. I need to go to the bank. And also, I might deposit some of these as well. And what I would do at that point, because I don't really need to have this much cash around. Let me just write 315 before I forget. Okay. Um, I lost my train of thought. Uh, what I would do if I bring some of these to the bank is note. So I would keep it like this and then, um, I might write bank. So balance is at the bank or maybe amount is at the bank, something like that. I have to figure that part out so I can know how much is where. All right, so this is my 52-week challenge. And today's date is October 10th. The amount is 315. This is a plus because it's going into this envelope. And the balance is 315. 
Okay. I really like how these sheets fit really well. If you wanted to, you could even laminate them and um, it'll kind of be like reusable for you. All right, another envelope put aside. Okay, next is my $1,000 savings tracker that I'm not doing very well with, I don't think. Um, this is just kind of a game, like there's a bunch of boxes and as I come across random bills sometimes and I feel that I can survive without those bills, they'll go into this envelope. But I say I'm not doing very well because I have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55. Okay, 155 dollars. That's fine. I need to be gentle with myself because that's more than I would have had if I didn't have this envelope, right? Um, so category is 1k tracker. I said 155, right? Sorry, let me just recalculate that. 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, right? 155. Write that here before I forget again. Okay, so as of 10, 10 plus and 155. Okay, let's get these in the envelope. I also thought about, well, so it does, they do come with these labels. So I don't, these are like very sticky. I don't think I want to put these on, but you could, you could put one on right here. I don't think I'm going to do that. I also thought about taking just like a label and putting that on these. Um, but I think that for me right now, because when I put this in here, I can see the category right at the front. I don't think it's necessary. I think I put this one, these in backwards. I don't think there's a front and back, but I'm going to want to keep it like, what is wrong with me? If this is closed, this will go at the bottom. Okay. So open needs to go in this way. All right. I think I might buy another one of these binders because this is what I'm using for kind of like my savings challenges and things like that. But I think maybe I want to do another one for sinking funds, I think. Okay, here's another one that I haven't been doing great with, but this is a one in five. So every dollar and five dollar bill I come across, I've been, I have not been putting them in, but I have in the past and it's something I'd like to get back to. So what better way than having an envelope dedicated for them? So we've got 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 34 dollars. And if you are going to do something like this, my recommendation is not to use this register. That's what it's called, a register. <laughs> Not to note every time, but maybe at the end of the week, grab your ones and fives and throw them in there. So um, we'll do one and five. And the date is 1010. The amount is 34 plus and 34. And if I wanted to do something with this, if I wanted to, um, if I need to get gas and I decided this was the money I wanted to use to go get gas, maybe I didn't budget properly for gas or something like that, then I would just subtract what I took out of it and update that balance here. I typically don't pull from these envelopes, um, but there have been times that I do. Maybe I didn't have the opportunity to go to the bank or maybe my expenses exceeded what my, what, you know, my expectation was at or something like that. So there's that part. Okay, now I have my Christmas savings tracker. So this is something that I'm going to definitely need one of these registers for because I'm going to be adding to it over the next two months, but also subtracting from it as I make purchases. So let's, I'm just going to write Christmas. All right, and now we have 20, 40, 
60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 225. I'll take my 0.38. Amount is 225 plus and 225. And so the next deposit I make, because I'll likely be making a deposit before I make a withdrawal, will go here. Okay. I think there's just a couple more. But I do want to take a look at this binder right now and see, whoops, I've got to close the rings first. This is how you know I'm not a ring planner user. <laughs> scared of my fingers. Okay, so this is pretty full. I mean, there's only one, two, three, four, five envelopes in here. I think that, I mean, there's there's more room. There's not a ton more room. Um, it's definitely going to be time for me to go to the bank because some of these were a ton of five. Like this one is really thick because I've been putting money aside for so many weeks. So it's definitely time to condense these. And I don't have to update anything on the register once I do that because it's the same amount of money. It's just less bills. So that's something I'm definitely going to do. Let me know if you want to see a video when I do that. Okay, now I have $1,000. Um, I keep $1,000 emergency. My entire emergency fund isn't a thousand dollars, but my cash em emergency versus bank emergency is a thousand. So these are small bills; they're mainly hundreds, and I think that was what two fifties. So, um, category, we're gonna write one thousand dollar EF for emergency fund. I don't think that a thousand dollars in an emergency fund is enough. I feel like we're zoomed out pretty far here. Um, but I think it's enough for cash. Date is 10-10. Amount is $1,000. Balance is $1,000. Whoops, I did two of those. That's okay. All right. And now we will put this one in here. All right, so these are zipped up. These live in safe. This is not something that I put in my, um, that I keep like out or in my planner or in my purse. That's what I meant is in my purse because let's see what we've got here. It's almost $2,000. So that's never something that's going to come with me anywhere and be in in my purse. So at this point, we're pretty full. There's still like, you can't see how much pressure I'm putting down. It still closes without a problem, but this is also why I wanted to do the magnetic closure versus the, um, versus the snap, because I think there's just a little bit more room of flexibility when you have a magnetic closure. All right. Um, let me just see if there's another envelope underneath here that I'm missing. Okay, I thought I had one more. So I don't actually have one more. I have nine more. Um, <clears throat> actually, 10. Because I talk about this on Patreon, but I have these envelopes that I use each month to put money aside every week in addition to the money that I'm already putting aside. Hence why some of these other challenges are tough because I've got a lot of these envelopes. But these all have, some are 15 or $20 a week. They're usually between 15 this week, I guess, was just five. Um, so I guess between five and $20. And this is pretty thick, and it's definitely not going to fit in this binder. But I think what I'm going to wait to do is um, wait until the end of the year. So I have three more months to go and condense all of these. I actually am probably going to use these directly for my next round of oral surgery. Um, it's not going to cover all of my oral surgery, but it's going to cover a portion. So I think that's what I'm going to do with these envelopes. So to summarize, and then, oh, I definitely want to put a pen right in here. So I'm not like wondering where a pen is. And then 
I'm going to take these extra pages here. Will they fit there? No. So I'm going to stick them right in here. They fit there. And then these I will just keep um, probably in my safe with, with this. So this is, oh, it's going to be tough to close this actually. Hmm. With the pen in there. Let's see. I could do this, but that's annoying and I don't like it. Okay, that works. <laughs> kind of doing it on the side here. So to summarize, this is the magnetic closure and I chose the magnetic closure because I think there's just a little bit more give than the buckle. There are several colors. It comes with all of these envelopes and the labels, which I chose not to use, but let me show you how they look. Let's Let's put this on my arm and just like remove a decent amount of the sticky and maybe some of my skin at the same time so that it doesn't stick to it. But if you wanted to, you could put this here put it sideways or you could do it right up there so that you can see right away. But I really think that incorporating the register into this makes it so that that's for me unnecessary. I know others would like to be able to see immediately but um, I want the ability to sort of change these and that's where the register comes into play. So uh, I'm probably going to make some kind of adjustment. The problem is I could only fit three of these on one sheet. This is a printable in my Etsy shop linked below. And um, of course it's a digital download so you can print as many of you only have to buy it once but you print as many as you want. So I think I printed four for this. And so I could show you one that is fully done like that. Um, and then just cut them out and stick them in. I did print these at 100%. So if you are a classic Happy Planner user and normally you have to print at like 84%, you don't have to do that this time. This is just regular printer paper. No, no adjustments necessary. And I think that I'm going to pick up another one of these binders for my other sinking funds. Because these are more savings challenges. I mean, this is a sinking fund but I think that I'm going to pick up another one just for sinking funds and then keep this one for savings challenges. So this binder is linked in the description of this video as are the trackers. Um, let me know what you think, but I'm really excited about incorporating this into my system. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not already subscribed, please do take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.